two, three, and... Good question. Absolutely, the instruments themselves are are, are uh, sort of the method behind the madness. Really, you know, there's a reason why specific instruments are constructed a certain way, and that a lot of times is to execute a certain kind of sound, obviously, but a genre itself. Um, what I the guitar I play specifically is an arch top guitar, whereas a lot of people, the vast majority of guitars, especially made especially made today, are flat tops. Um, they have a bass here, more uh, low to the bass here sound. Whereas these arch tops uh, have a mid to high mid uh, crispness. They were constructed in the jazz era before the days of, uh, of amplification in order to cut through and amplify. Um, and so that's a big part of, uh, of, of the sound because it does sound different. And, and, uh, my lead guitar player plays the same kind of guitar, um, but the the horns. Um, uh, most people would consider that to be jazz in New Orleans. I mean, well, it's a mistake to say that all jazz comes from New Orleans. But uh, the trumpet, clarinet. I'm a big fan of the clarinet. It's one of my favorite instruments. Uh, the harmonica and the drums. Um, Ryan plays the harmonica on some songs, the drums on the other because, well, you know, you don't want harmonic and everything so uh, and uh, of course the upright bass you know it to me just always sounds better than the electric bass uh, well that depends depends on the genre depends on the songs but uh, I never have electric bass on, on stage don't think I have a not for my music anyway I'm part of the rhythm section and then sometimes also part of the lead section um, so usually I play a small drum kit which is often called a cocktail kit which consists of just a two small cymbals, snare drum, a wood block, and a cowbell. And then I play a washboard, which is, you know, I guess kind of a traditional American instrument, if you can call it an instrument. And uh, yeah, I built it myself, uh, just spare stuff laying around the house. And, uh, you know, the cool thing about that is, you know, everybody's kind of got a different, different setup on their washboard. Everyone's got their own style of playing, so there's not really a, a school for it. And then, um, yeah, as my lead instrument, I play the harmonica, or as you call it, the harp, or you know, whatever you want to say about it, Mississippi saxophone. And uh, yeah, I've been playing that since I was probably about uh, 12 years old. And uh, once again, you know, there's uh, there is uh, specific styles that you can emulate, but really, uh, I taught myself, and uh, you know, based on some influences, but mostly have my own style playing that as well. I play the cornet, um, which is pretty much a trumpet, a B flat, brass instrument. The um, cornet I play specifically is uh, from 1918, Chicago made, a Harry BJ, which is um, a fairly rare model to uh, see nowadays, um, but it was very popular with Dixieland musicians in the 20s. Uh, I play the upright bass, and uh, usually it's pretty hard to travel with, but I have a folding bass that I bring over here, or whenever I fly. And, uh, so yeah, it's pretty not, pretty convenient. The neck folds into the body and it packs down. I can check it on a plane. Um, I play clarinet and saxophone. Um, clarinet's pretty easy to travel with. It comes in a little box. <laughs> saxophone's a little bit harder, but and the saxophone I play is the C melody saxophone, and that's it was basically really popular only in the 1920s. It has kind of a different tone and different make and model, and you can play with. Um, see instruments, which makes it easier to read music and everything. But it has a very unique kind of somewhat nasally, just higher pitched um, sound to it. So that's the uniqueness about it. <laughs> yeah, that's unique, that's true. Uh, I play anything guitar, all guitars. <laughs> um, specifically in this setup, I play a 61 Guild Starfire um, and a 1939 Gibson L12. And it's a very large arch top uh, used for orchestras back in the 30s and whatnot. It sounds really good. It's a man's guitar, that's what I call it. <laughs> Thank you.
if I wasn't a musician, I would, I would most likely be doing something uh, in the lines of writing, um, perhaps novels or, or journalism. Um, my second love is, is very much uh, sports, specifically baseball. Um, so, you know, maybe I would be a, an announcer or a, or a, a journalist uh, you know, along the, the lines of uh, you know, for writing for newspapers and magazines for baseball, stuff like that. You know. And I'd never get caught, cause I'd never bite the hook in line. All the women try to catch me, cause I go swimming by. Well, from what I hear, they constructed the stage before they constructed the rest of the room. So it goes to show that they really put that aspect first. Uh, it's clear to me that that uh, that is this, that is so that they they took a lot of care in how they made the room sound because uh, it, it just has a wonderful sound on stage and uh, the, the people who do the sound, the, the PA and everything um, from doing as many shows as I've done, you know, I, I know from experience that it's a well-crafted room. So, to me, I don't care what somebody's serving booze or food-wise, if it sounds like crap, then it don't matter to me. So, as a musician, obviously, that's the first thing I would focus on. But the food's fantastic, the, the beer is wonderful. Um, I was uh, surprised and happy to see that they had a, they had a Colonial uh, doing the beer there, and it's doing a great job, you know. I, I think the place is, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how long it's been around, but uh, I wish it the most success. Yeah. You know, coming from St. Louis, which is a, a brewing town, uh, when I saw that it was a brewery as well as a restaurant and venue, I was definitely excited. And I'll say that uh, Ed, the brewmaster up there, is doing it absolutely right and has uh, made some really good beer. The sound system is also absolutely right. Sohan's been doing a great job, and everyone that's been, uh, you know, making food and taking care of us there has been also really excellent. Yeah, we've been treated far too well. <laughs> um, the food was fantastic. Mm. The beer was great and plentiful, yeah. which was a pretty nice combination. Um, yeah, some, some really excellent brews. Um, and um, some really nice, yeah, like American style uh, beer available. Um, and the sound of the venue was just wonderful. Um, everything went by very smoothly. The stage is great. Yeah, it's, it's so wonderful. It's built for acoustics. It's built, yeah, it's built it's for really acoustic, nice. like like our band, and it's yeah. built for just performing and like performances. Mm. And because it's you know there's, there's lots of room yeah, and all wood. and everybody you can see everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. All wood, yeah. right? all wood. Lots, cool. yeah. yeah. Lots of high tech equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real nice room and. The, the crowds have all been real fun too. Yeah, they've been. We, they've you been never know what to expect, like if they're just going to be seated and quiet. Or, but we've had tons of dancing. And mm -hmm. Every time nice. we've asked them to dance, they like they go right up and dance <laughs> and it's stay nice. there, which nice. is great. <laughs> this is really fun. Food is delicious. It's been great. Food is amazing. <laughs> Especially the beer too. But we we didn't know what to expect with that either. But. Yeah, we, we got to talk with the brewmaster for a little bit, and he uh, he really knows his stuff. Uh, he was even teaching me things about beer that I didn't know about before, so it's really nice. We'd love to be back sometime. Really? So it's been I'd really love to check out more of India, too. And we definitely didn't get enough time. There's so much to see. Mm -hmm. So colorful, so many sights, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say exactly the same thing. Um, I hope um, they enjoyed what we did, but... The important thing about this sort of music is to um, keep searching and keep an open mind and and the um, the more you look for the, the richer your appreciation and understanding will be of the of the music. Thank you so much for all your time and we th uh, really wish you all the best for all the future gigs and long prosperity. Thank you very much. Right back at you. Um, continued success and, and, and health and happiness here in Bangalore for you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy I'm singing la la la.